the most important thing that I got from the program has been this sense of empowerment. When you're on the ground and you're working with uh, sort of with these issues, you, you tend to get discouraged a lot because a lot of times you're hitting the wall with your head. You feel that you're not having any impact. The toxicity of of these sort of day-to-day -day struggles uh, can get you discouraged a lot. So coming here and being able to look at things more globally and sharing these experiences with peers as well gives you a bit more perspective and encouragement uh, that these are long-term battles that you need to kind of play sort of in the long run. I created and co-founded uh, Zbunker which is a new media platform, a blog, a current affairs blog in Albanian language. More than 150 writers have written for the blog over the past four years. But we noticed that the impact was much more limited. So we expanded into, into the grassroots a little bit and started working with youth. So, so mostly the authors or the activists and the think tankers and intellectuals who are writing for our blog sort of started working with young kids on the ground, like 17 to 21 years old. We reach out to these young influencers to try to build the young generation of activists in Kosovo. So what we try to do through the blog and through this critical thinking program is expand the constituency of people who care about liberal democracy and about democratic values. Values. And I came here at NED to look at this from a more theoretical perspective and uh, to sort of uh, try to think more, more, uh, more globally about this issue at a time when these values are being assaulted globally but also uh, uh, locally. And I think that the time is now to develop kind of a new narrative because of this global crisis that is impacting us, the European crisis in particular crisis of the EU. I'm thinking of engaging at a sort of a more regional level through media uh, exchange, through our blog, working with partner media platforms in the region to sort of work on these issues and challenges regionally because the problems in the Balkans are regional and we cannot deal with them individually, country by country, and we need, there needs to be more sort of syndication of content in terms of media and also exchange of ideas in terms of like, you know, the think tank level or the thinking level. So. Uh, I will be hopefully sort of uh, uh, jump starting something, so a new initiative after, uh, after the fellowship is over. The experience with the other fellows was definitely one of the best things of this fellowship. We've developed a really strong bond. We were a very closely knit group, although very diverse in terms of the fields of areas we work on or countries we come from. There was really good uh, chemistry and camaraderie be, uh, between uh, uh, the group that was really inspiring and uh, that really um, allowed me to learn a lot. It was maybe the most essential learning experience uh, here. Uh, in terms of NED, it was really made me feel at home. You know, walking into this office really, not, it, it feels at, at like home after five months. There's so much support infrastructure for us here uh, to be able to do what we want to do. And the fellowship is designed in such a way that it gives you the freedom to do what you want to do and design your own path. That was a really empowering and enriching kind of uh, experience to be sort of, uh, and actually very, very big privilege to be here. So, so uh, I really, uh, I really, really appreciate that.